Okay, I have to follow the distressed bee, but first I need to catch up on track here. Also, where is my heckin' phone? Yes. The people who hide out on Tumblr and Twitter are not feminists. And don't ever get the two confused. Yeah, Cleopatra was a right bitch. So was Catherine the Great. And yes, Karen is an iteration of Catherine. Yes, and being a Karen is not the same as just having the name Karen. Oh, thank you, Magisteria. This will make it a lot easier. I can drop slobs into performance mode then and look at my stream manager on my phone. Ah, uh, Magisteria found it. Um, wasn't that, um, Bathroy, Elizabeth Bathroy, I want to say? Give me a minute. I'll look it up. Uh, Countess Elizabeth Bathroy um, was a Hungarian noblewoman and serial killer from the family Bathroy who, um, who owned land in the Kingdom of Hungary, now Hungary, Slovakia, and Romania. Bathory has been labeled Guinness World's Records as the most prolific, most prolific female murderer. Though the number of her victims is debated, Bathory and four collaborators were accused of torturing and killing hundreds of girls and women between 1590 and 1610. The highest number of victims cited during Bathory's trial was 650, but this number comes from the claim by a servant girl named Susanna that Jacob Zavilasi, um, I'm butchering these names, I'm sorry, I'm trying, but I can barely speak English and supposedly that's my native language. Um, Bathory's court official had been, had seen the figure in one of Bathory's private books. The book was never revealed and Zilvasi never mentioned it in his testimony. Despite the evidence against Bathory, her family's importance protected her from a death sentence. She was imprisoned in December 1610 within Castle Sij in Upper Hungary, now Slovakia. The stories of Bathory's sadistic serial murders are verified by the testimony of more than 300 witnesses and survivors, as well as physical evidence and the presence of horribly mutilated, dead, dying, and imprisoned girls uh, found at the time of her arrest. Stories describing Bathory's vampiric tendencies, such as the tale that she bathed in the blood of virgins to retain her youth, were generally recorded years after her death and considered unreliable. Her story quickly became part of national folklore, and her infamy persists to this day. Some insist she inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula, 1897, though there is no evidence support to support this hypothesis. <coughs> Nicknames and literary epithets attributed her to her include the Blood Countess and Countess Dracula. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing.
That is a very thingy thing. Mm -hmm. She wasn't sentenced to death. She was sentenced to house arrest. <laughs> Also, that was a horrible pun, Magisteria. Some people think one of the other famous noble serial killers, the guy who serves with Chernobyl, Park, was accused but innocent and in fact was scapegoat for the local clergy. I wouldn't be surprised by that. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Anyway. Wait, 